bacon, pineapple, hot dog, jalapeno jam. Just got our two burgers. So there's that panela cheese. The hipster beer of Mexico. It was like a pound or a pound and a half. <laughs> We're just outside of La Agua Tacosas or Pablo Jr. or something. Uh, found out about this place from a famous Mexican YouTuber. We're gonna get some burgers and hot dogs. Let's go. So we just paid, uh, now we're in one of two or three lines, not sure how this works, but they've been open for about 15 minutes and we are in the second of two lines. So there's a few different choices of uh, burgers. I think the biggest difference is the size of the meat and then if there's like bacon or pineapple, we're mega vanilla, so we just got two of the classics. And then I think there's two or three hot dog options. Prices changed, so we didn't have enough money. Uh, so we'll be rocking those two classicos. So the meat chunks are massive. They look like little baby steaks and it smells absolutely fuego right now. So we've got bacon, pineapple, hot dog, and then he's throwing what I think is panela on top of ham and American or cheddar cheese. Now it looks like we've got some sort of like jalapeno jam going on top of the avocado. We've got mustard going on, onions, and now we're topping with buns. And more avocado on the other guys. Buns on, buns on, buns on. They're batching pretty well. Juice to get mine so I can eat it. Yeah, that's why I haven't been doing it, you know. All right, we just got our two burgers. We're gonna head home because it's chaotic and we have beer there. Let's go. We are back from Pablo Jr. AKA El or La Agua Catosa. Yunji thought I said Agua Catorce. She's like 14 waters. That's funnier for me than it is for you. Here's the unwrapping. I'm pumped to get this boiga. Ooh. So there's that panela cheese over the American or cheddar on the ham. We've got the avocado, the ketchup, more cheese, more, I don't know. And we have the beer, the hipster beer of Mexico, maybe, Carta Blanca. All right, ooh. So we've got a soggy boy on the bottom. That's soggy. This is heavy. This feels like a pound or a pound and a half. Mm. That is not a thin patty. That is a meat brick. When I was filming earlier, I know it was bad. I was like far. This is not a typical patty. I assume it's beef, but like, it did not look like a normal patty. Um, I'm getting like a squeakiness from chewing this meat, so. I don't think you guys can get it, but a little weird. 
Flavor's good. I'm really glad I got the classic since this is the least meat you can get. The other ones are way more than this, which blows my mind. This is probably more meat than I need. Um, I'd probably say I'm enjoying the cheese the most, like the different cheeses, the different layers, and then the ham, which is a staple of hamburgers or hamburguesas in Mexico, which puts the ham back in hamburger, haha, <laughs> but actually. This was 70 pesos or $3.50, and this is a rock. This is a weapon. Um, yeah. Let's let uh, the cameraman, aka Yunji, eat, but yeah, so far so good. Pablo Jr., baby. All right, here we go. Lovely. Oh my God. Turn it. Turn it more. Yeah, there you go. Mm, you're right. It tastes like a meatloaf. Yeah, it's questionable. It is not. Uh, when we saw them making it, it did not look like ground beef pressed into a patty. It looked like a steak, but I don't know what it is. It straight up tastes like, like a vegan, like a Beyond Meat kind of patty. It Might tastes be. like that. But the flavors are good. I don't love the ham, but I just generally don't like ham. I almost dislocated my jaw taking a bite out of this. So this looks terrible, but a lot of the good like avocado and like pickled jalapeno stuff fell in here, super bomb. Okay, sorry, I was super hungry. Um, I skipped lunch, so I devoured that. Uh, I would eat it again. It was an interesting experience. Usually I hate waiting, but that was kind of fun or weird or novel or whatever. The flavors are good. There's a ton going into this, like in and out is a few things. This has like cheese below, cheese above. But the weirdest thing, most interesting thing is definitely the patty. I have no clue what that was. It was thick like a steak. Sometimes it tasted steaky. Sometimes it did taste meatloafy. The texture was weird, not bad, just different. And it looked nothing like a hamburger patty when it was raw and cooking. It didn't chew like a patty. So I know I'm harping on that, that was weird. Um, but a lot of good flavors, it was inexpensive. I almost wish I had another one, even though I shouldn't eat one that was like pretty huge. Um, would go again. We might film it when we go again. Oh, she's panning out after I did the peace sign. It's weird. No, it's not. This is when you add the music. Last day in Mexico City. Pollo Rostizado. Oh, well, of course, things never go right. Super frustrating. Got some booze. Last chance for tequila. First time ever. It is a shit show. <laughs> Infamous Coco Bongo. It's loud here. 